Hi guys. Okay, so this is my uh, video for Vampire's uh, contest. So here's my entry. All right. So first off, two shout outs. All right. Well, he asked for a shout out for a channel with less than a thousand subs. Well, I can't narrow it down to one, so I'm going to give you two. And both of these guys have less than 50 subs. Um, so seriously, show these guys some some support. Really, I mean, please, come on. Because <laughs> we, we, we got to get, you know, yeah, we, we got to get these guys going. Um, the first one is Echo. Echo has an awesome channel. He's, he's great uh, with his channel on, on some of his philosophy, ideas, and things like that. Um, just, he, he, yeah, the guy rocks. Oh, by the way, that's my chai tea. Anyway. <sighs> so, but, uh, anyway, we, we gotta get Echo some, some subs. Um, because he's really... He deserves a lot more subs than he has. So, first off, let's get Echo going. Second, Prepper's Union. This guy uh, is a newer guy, uh, at least newer to me. Uh, he's, once again, he's got less than 50 subs. Um, and, you know, when you look at, uh, he's kind of into the prepping um, guns, gear, survival stuff um he's got a really good start on a good channel he's, he's got the he's got a really good start so uh let's see if we can show him some support so i'm lifting up these two guys echo and uh, preppers union and you'll see them in the description tag below so seriously check them out if you like them sub and uh i have ever belief that you will if you if you like the stuff that you know, me and Vampire and just about everybody else in this uh, community that we have here do, well, you'll like these guys too, so check them out. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and of course, can't forget uh, Loyal to Law and uh, Primal Punch and these guys. Um, they're just great people, so, you know. Um, I could list everybody um, pretty easy, but uh, if you follow me at all, you <laughs> yeah, I, I try to do as much as I can for shout outs for people, so, because it's, uh, it's just a way of giving back, I guess. So, anyway, there's uh, two shout outs for you. Alright, so, on to the logos. Okay, obviously that first one was mine, and the next one's Vampires. Next up, uh, 10 tracks. I had a really hard time getting it uh, in 10, and in fact, um, I couldn't. <laughs> so, uh... So I gave the 10, if I absolutely could only have 10, I gave you the 10. But um, if I could squeeze those extra 5 in there, I would. And with my abilities, um, being knowing what I know about computers and formatting and stuff like that, trust me, I'd squeeze the extra 5 in there. But that's me, because I just play with the format or however I had to to make sure that it happened but anyway so here's the songs okay guys so there's actually three exercises well actually there's gonna be a lot more than that but there's gonna be three distinctions uh, to the exercises that I've been doing. Um, and I'll just kind of take you through my own personal training routine and I'll annotate the 
videos uh, from Wampire that I've used to kind of come up with this training regimen um, as a as a way of getting familiar with everything. So for this first segment, I'm going to be doing the entire alpha belt uh, with cuts using my ultimate knife that Bushcraft My Way made. Once again, uh, thank you Bushcraft My Way, and uh, it's an awesome blade. So let's get started. The seven count, the twelve count, the heaven six, and the reverse sound wally. So here we go. Let's get started. The easiest way for me to show my appreciation for all that Wentfire's taught me um, and all that I've actually learned from his videos, um, the best way that I can show that I actually have learned something and am able to apply it to something um, that's important to me because if something happens, um, I'm going to have a hawk and I'm going to have a knife and that's what I'm going to have. So, uh, take that as understanding that I have to know how to 
use the hawk and the knife. This is not playtime for me. It's yeah, we'll have to know how to use it. So uh, therefore, I'm going to share a free flow with you um, that shows that I actually have learned some things from my life. So thank you. also asked for us to show a good self-defense tip. Well, <clears throat> since I've pretty much been going uh, as overboard as I can with everything uh, in this one, I'm going to actually give you two that work together hand in hand. So, last night it was real late and you know how every once in a while your wife will kick you out of bed and say hey go get me blah 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 from Walmart or wherever else so you him hollering you moan and complain about it but you know as well as anybody and she knows as well as anybody that eventually you're going to get your ass up and do it it's what, it's what you do so, this is what gave me the idea. It's real late at night. It's real dark. Getting out of the truck. And, uh, thing that comes into mind is I've got keys in my hand. So I go into Walmart, do my shopping, come back out. And there's my keys in my hand again. I want you to take a look at my truck keys. They're very thin. Pointy. Now, I would always recommend that you would have a bigger key ring like this so that you can stick your middle finger right in. Okay. Then you're going to want your door key right there. Ready to be used. Just like that. So you can get right in your door if you have to. But then you've got your ignition key right here too. Right? Why am I telling you this? The reason why you have your door key like this is not only can you use your door key quickly and get into your vehicle and pre create a barrier of protection against you versus a, a possible attacker. But it's also not generally seen as a threat of someone's keys. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've got a flail device built into my keychain. But, in all actuality, if I'm being attacked by an attacker, and I have my key like this, let's say a throw punch just for whatever. So they throw the punch at a force block and I jam that key straight in their eye. Their eye, their throat. Some soft target. Is it going to kill them? Probably not. Is it going to hurt like hell? Yeah. Are they going to break out their attack? They'd be smart too. So what's the difference? 
Well, the difference is, is that if I use this and I jam it into the attacker's eye, he's going to run away. Most likely. He's going to break off the attack. You know, the great thing about that is I didn't have to draw my gun. Everybody wins. Everybody goes home at the end of the night. More importantly, I go home at the end of the night because if I draw my weapon and if I start firing, I'm going to jail. Most likely. Food for thought. This ties into the next golden rule of self-defense. <coughs> and it's this. Be aware. Awareness. Some people have it. Some people don't. If you don't have it, you better work on it so that you do have it. That's about all there is to that. Be able to sense things in every direction. It's important. And it can save your life. So, good for thought. Thank you for the contest, Wampire. If nothing else, even if there was nothing offered, I'd still make this video just uh, to show support. So, thank you. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.